Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over the distributive property. Let's first read uh, kind of a definition, and then I think once you see the examples, this will make sense. It says, multiplying the sum of two or more add-ins by a number produces the same result as when each add-in is multiplied individually by the number and the products are added. What it does, it does allow you to break a number apart and then distribute. Let's first look at what it means. Okay, basically it's saying this. You can either add these two numbers together if they're like terms and then multiply it by the 3. And that's 24, 8, 16, 24. And that's going to be the same as if you distribute the 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24. So basically it's saying these two are equal. This does allow you to break a number apart. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, we have 45 times 2. 45 times 2 is 90. But the distributive property says you can break this 45 apart. Let's call it 40 plus 5. Let's put parentheses around it. Times 2. And then we can distribute the 2. Um, 2 times 40 is 80. Plus 2 times 5 is 10. And that equals 90. So that allows you to break a number apart and distribute. Now let's look at an algebra example. Okay, in algebra it's going to be the same. But remember, you cannot combine these together because they're unlike terms. So we can distribute. 5 times 3 is 15x plus 5 times 6 is 30. Okay? So, I hope that helps with the distributive property. Remember, it allows you to break a number apart, and the sum of two or more add-ins by a number produces the same result as when each add-in is multiplied individually and then added together. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.